You see nothing unusual, but you're not sure why it's open. Interesting. You see nothing absolutely unusual. Hmm. This, this has an eerie feeling to it. If there is no one supposed to be inside the blacksmith, then why would the town keep it open? What about the apprentice? Well, is the apprentice still here? That's a good question. Well, could I make a check for fresh footprints? Survival? Yep. Survival. I'm going slowly. Yeah. Survival, submit. You do notice some footprints that are fresh, but not too fresh. As in fresh as in what, like two hours, three hours ago? Yeah, about two to three hours ago. Can I tell if these footprints are coming or going? You can tell that they are going inside the house. Inside the blacksmith's? Yeah, well, it's also a house for the blacksmith, but yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I, I pointed out to Grass that someone has been here recently, and there's no signs of, of them exiting, so they're probably still inside. It could be the apprentice. I walk into the blacksmith. Nothing out of the ordinary. Try to peek in all stealthy. I head over to uh, the, I guess it's the east side of the blacksmiths, and I want to do a perception check just to see if there's anything out of the ordinary with this section from what we had saw yesterday. All right, go for it. Twenty-one. Nice. The only thing you see out of the ordinary is a couple of boxes missing un from underneath the table. The table that has all the shields on it, or a different one? The shield table, yeah. Interesting. I speak over to Bindle. Hey, was there this few many boxes yesterday? Come over and inspect. Could I check the area for like maybe dust to see if these boxes were recently moved or if yeah. they were like slid out or anything like that? Yeah. That'd what be a perception be? check. A perception? Yep. Perception. So Binda looks around, he doesn't quite remember the exact position of the, these boxes, but we're rolling. 17. 17. Congratulations. You notice that the boxes have been moved. Some dust lay on the floor at your feet as well. As if somebody was dusting them off. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there was definitely a box here. The positions have been shifted recently. Recently. That's quite peculiar. I now head over to the west side of the uh, blacksmiths and do another perception check. Okay. Bindo notices Gavin come in. <laughs> oh, you guys are here too? He's very alert. And you see nothing out of the ordinary at the blacksmith. On the west side of it, okay. Okay, we, we fill Gavin in on what we found so far. 
Hello there. Ah, Apprentice. Uh, do you know of anything of the blacksmiths where they can we have been? Uh, I heard that he was taken. Do you know by whom? Uh, I'm not going to tell. He 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 tries to avoid you guys. Where, where while he you? goes back to work. Yeah, like where were you when they came to get the blacksmith? <laughs> He was probably home. He uh, continues to ignore you. <laughs> Can, uh, we've never seen the apprentice and the blacksmith together. Very peculiar, yes. Well, I'm, well as you guys interrogate him, I'm going to ask him if he's got any stakes. Or well, or just... I'm not going to interrogate him. I'm going to keep on the blacksmith. Uh, we have pistons, which is a form of stake. Which is a type of uh, stake. Basically, all I need is something sharp and a hammerable that I can stick into the ground to hold rope. Hold on, let me look it up. Uh, well, you can use whatever you want to hammer it in. Yeah, I can use the butt uh, of my blade. Yeah. Uh, a pinton. Well, let's go. Huh. I'll paste it in chat for you. Um, there we go. Is. Um, for the cheap one that could break easily, is how I'm going to put this. <laughs> it'll cost you five copper, but if you would like a solid one, it'll cost you five silver. I'll take the five silver one. You never know what you could use one for. Yeah. How many would you like? Uh, I would take two, please. Alright. That would be one gold piece. Why, Perfect. here you go, good sir. No, wait, no, it is two silver, never mind. Two silvers? No way, it is one gold piece. Ah! Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Meh. I'm looking at the chart and wasn't looking at gold, I was looking at silver. <laughs> Moon's having troubles, people. Moon's having trouble. <laughs> yep, so one gold ple piece, sir, for two. Okay. I hand the gold over. Alright, and then if you go into the consortium, if you type in that word, you should be able to find it and put it in your inventory and... It Put quantity two. All right, grass, Gavin. I mean, God, Bindle. I am sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Uh, before I, I complete my purchase, uh, I would like to ask him a question. Uh, sure. Would you happen to know who owns the farms out on the far left or the far right? For the, the east of town. Yes, the, the seamstress and her and her husband in the far uh, east building, east house. Near the cows. Yes, near the cows. Okay. They have their new cows that they have purchased. Well, thank you. I started heading that way. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm down at the uh, southern end of the uh, blacksmiths. So All right. I am uh, inspecting the doors, and I can obviously tell that they're locked. Uh huh. So I I call over for Bindle. Bindle, come here, please. He walks over, but he's keeping one eye on this apprentice. <laughs> Bindle's he, he knows he's seen a shady character or two in his lifetime. <laughs> Perhaps a smart person there. Can you use your uh, tools to unlock this door? You haven't inspected it before, so... Are you sure you want to unlock this door while the apprentice is here? Well, he's obviously ignoring us, so... <laughs> he might not ignore us any further if we start tinkering with his door. Maybe if you go distract him? A good idea. We could have done I... this while Gavin was talking to him. Yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> so I head over to the uh, blacksmith apprentice, and uh, ah, he's not. 
He's not there? Oh, he's over at the uh, weapons. So it's the door, the door at the bottom? Yes, bottom right. Bottom right. So up to two-ish oh. squares. There. There you go. Okay. So Bindo acts nonchalant, waiting for his cue. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I was wondering. Um, how good are you at your making your weapons? I'm fairly good. Better than the blacksmith himself, or just that? Nobody's better than the blacksmith. Ah. I am, after all, only an apprentice. I can't grab that. You hear loud clinging and metal banging. <sighs> what oh, Bindle, of course you got it. They're distracting the. No, I'm blacks. directly asking Chris. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> no one told Gavin about this. <laughs> Why can't I click that? I can't click the door. The door is open. Yes, I whisper to Gavin. Uh, give me a minute. I have to have the blacksmith roll. I can't spell. Seriously. Finally, okay, he didn't hear you. Well, I expected not. <laughs> well, considering he rolled a one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> critical fail right there. <laughs> then yeah. he timed it so perfectly, it happened as soon as the hammer hit the aim. <laughs> and he didn't even hear you guys whisper at the same time. Wow. Alright, the door is unlocked. Bindle? Bindle opens as quiet as possible, sneaking in. And he takes a quick view of uh, the room. Do I need to roll perceptions to, to know what I see? Nah. You see what you see. I see a person. Yes, you do. Who do you see? I actually can't tell. <laughs> you notice William is sleeping in the bed in the bottom corner, bottom right corner. Who's William? Oh, the guy that we had spoken to, and he's a part of the Knights. Oh, good idea. Okay. You <laughs> found him sleeping there. He's sleeping. He's obviously not a morning person either. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna try to be quiet. And he didn't hear you either. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I rolled a 24 on Thieves, so he's super good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, they also have to do a perception check of whether or not they hear you. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so do I see any other items? No, you just see the chests, the beds, and William. And William asleep. Yeah, and William being asleep. <laughs> Even though he looks like he's sitting in a chair. Sorry, I can't change the picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fine. So I, I don't really see anything suspicious or anything to look at. Or do I need to make a perception check for that? No, there isn't anything suspicious in there. You're okay. good. Okay, I'm gonna go back out. Finally, close the door. Not locked. And report what I found. 
What are you doing over there? It's perfectly possible. I'm I'm looking for a special set of daggers. I was hoping maybe it was in the in the back shelf. Did the blacksmith commission them? Uh, no. I was looking to see what kind of price range he had, and and we never did come to an agreement. Roll a deception check, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh god, don't fail, don't fail. No, I was clicking, I was clicking things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, if you could have come up with something a little bit better, I wouldn't have had you roll, but jeez. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Yes, you did. Uh, we did actually come to agreement on the price, and he said that he would have them in the back. That's what you could have said, but oh well. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, he, he suspects nothing. You're good. <laughs> All right, then. Mr. Silver Tongue over there. <laughs> yep. Oh, I should. Don't say anything to the hunter. All right. I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, so I whisper to Grass and Gavin what... It I found in the room that I see William and he's sleeping and nothing seems out of the ordinary other than William. other than it's a night of, of Claude sleeping in the back in the blacksmith which is why would night of Claude be in the blacksmith's hmm, this is quite odd okay well I'm gonna go talk to the farmer the owner of the farms I'm gonna go in okay. investigate that caved in area of the farm I hear you guys are in the blacksmith shop. What are you guys up to? I came to purchase some things. It's good seeing you two again. Yes, it's good seeing you as well. Uh, why are you here? I haven't seen you in a while though. You haven't seen me in a while. Well, of course not. I can't spell with the thing. All right. Means having trouble. <laughs> you haven't seen me in a. Okay. Yeah. Yes, of course you haven't seen me in a while. Although, to be fair, this young halfling walked right by me. That other day? Yes, that other day. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. Because I, yes, I remember. You were here um, a day or so. I was on my way to the market. Yep. You look kind of busy. I didn't want to interrupt. Well, thank you for that. But on a related note, the uh, blacksmith went missing. Would you know anything about that? The blacksmith was taken by the knights. Are you certain? Yes. Why would I be uncertain? Are you not part of the knights? I have already told you this. I am, but I do not accept their ways. He doesn't. He doesn't follow the ways of the rest. Yeah. Yeah. Also, how are your dire wolves? <gasps> well, Gavin, you're not even in the room. Why? Where are you? I. Think oh, it's right there. For him. I didn't see you. <laughs> Sheila and Snow are doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. They both seem to want to hang out with more people as well. Very nice. If you're ever in the forest, let me know and I'd be happy to hang out with you and them. Whoa. And have them hang out with us. Well, we are I prefer to hang out in the forest, I'm pretty sure I'll run across them sooner. Alright then. Just sit. Just make sure you call them by name before they get too close. They might not like... They don't like strangers, but they also have a very... 
very short memory when they're hungry. Ah. Well, I do know I remember making one of them jealous, so I'll make sure to spend a little more attention to that one. Alright. I hope you have a most wonderful day. Same to you. Alright. Is the Oh, at the wolf's the uh the farm. Okay. All right, Bindle. Is Francis still here? I don't know. Is he? He did. Yes, I believe he okay. just left for a moment, but he could be back soon. I okay. propose that we leave before he starts asking me more questions. Well, I just want to ask more than one question. Well, okay, maybe not one question, but I want to ask him a question. Maybe William, this apprentice, what do you know of him? Can he be trusted? I honestly do not know. That's why I'm here. Yeah, that is quite peculiar. After all, the knights had come and taken the blacksmith away, and the only people that knew he was back, aside from most of the town, was his family and the blacksmith. And I already know most of the town doesn't mind him being here, but the apprentice blacksmith is new to town. He's he new also... How new are you talking about? About three to six months now. Three to six months. That is quite new. And he would also have <laughs> something to gain by the blacksmith being captured. Yes. Is, is there a reward being paid for the capture of the blacksmith? 200 gold. Of course there is. Well, right, there's, there's a reward being offered, but is someone actually claiming the reward right now? That's what I'm asking William. Oh, I don't know. I didn't go with the knights. Oh, I, yeah, but he was ordered with the knights to capture the blacksmith. Somebody must have mm. given that order. Yes. The order is in general by the king. All know? dragons and dragonborn must be presented to the king's court, and then only then are you given the money. Hmm. So I'm wondering who's gonna, who's gonna be collecting that money. I don't know. Well, only my leader. Only my uh, only the lead knight knew, and she is obviously not here. Quite peculiar. Well, it is nice to speak to you once again, William. We hope that we will Moon. meet again. Huh? You mean William, yeah, not that's Moon. What I said. Did you hear Moon instead of William? Am I cutting mm -hmm. out again? Yeah, I heard Moon instead of William. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, I said William instead of Moon. I don't, I don't know how this going. Up, but, oh well. <laughs> uh, who knows? Who cares? Anyway, but it is time for us to depart. We must be going. All right. You have a wonderful time. Enjoy. Farewell. Right. Farewell. Interesting. Okay, I have a question for the DM. Uh, yes. I was gonna say, we're, you're next anyways, but okay, go ahead. What question? Where are you? There you are. Oh, there we go. There you go, what? Oh, I, what did I, do? I got sound again. <laughs> oh! <laughs> like, I, I asked, like, as soon as I asked if uh, I had a question, you, like, my headphones muted. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, would, would we as the players know how long it takes for a written letter to go from one place to another? Um... 
generally between two to three days, depending on where it's going. Uh, how long would it take for a letter from here to the capital and back to take? Uh, let me look real quick. <laughs> Let me look real quick. Ah! Too far out, too far out, too far out, too far freaking out. Too oh. far out, too far out. Alright, let me see. Because they would take the roads, so. Yeah. Um. I'm counting. Oh, okay. And I the wrong freaking number. No, I didn't. Can't do that in my head. Good calculator. days considering where you're located to get to the capital of quad it'll be a hundred days via road trips I'm not gonna say it's a hundred days well I mean oh wait hold on I gotta shoot dang it I forgot they're on ponies freaking a Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh, for the love of crying out loud. Okay, so it's 3,000 miles. I need to run for the journey, which is how many per day, but because they're on horses, that'd be uh, 60. Yeah, okay, about 50 days. About 50 days? Wow. Yep. Okay, dude. That just tells you how far away we are from the capital. Yep. And that's on a horse, by the way. That's 50 days on a horse. I'm, I'm just formulating questions with it. Yep, you're fine. Or a letter. Yeah, you're fine. Alright, uh, Gavin, it is your turn. What are you up to? Uh, I'm going to talk to farm people. So I can farm get permission people. to pit in, pit in the ground in front of the hole. Alright. Go talk to the farm people. But who was that? Who was what? Person moving away from me. Well, you'd have to go ask her. Go ask her. For him. Come back, woman. Don't call me woman! I do not know your name, so what else should I call you? <laughs> well, don't make it sound so. Never mind. Hostile. Exactly. What can I do you for? You wouldn't happen to know the farm, or the, the owners of the farm below us. I am the seamstress of that farm. 
So do you Sorry. have ownership of the land it's on? My husband does, yes. Is he in? He is out in the fields right now. Okay. You're welcome to go find him. I am sorry for taking your time. I shall go find your husband. Alright, I got a couple of hoods and cape stuff thingies to go give to some people. Have fun! Okay, I go, I go to the edge of the field and see if I see the husband. Alright, well if you see him, you see him. Okay, well, I... He might be under a lot of fields, so... Uh, actually, yeah, he is. Never mind. We're not gonna see him. I got a 14. Area. Okay, yeah, you saw him. You can see him. Uh, I, I get to the edge of the field as I'm not entirely comfortable with how Walking to... into it? Yeah, and I, I holler for the farm owner. What do you say? Hello, good sir. Oh, well, hello there. Are you the owner of the farm? I certainly am. What can I do you for? I want, did you notice the giant hole in the bottom of your farm? Yes, and I apparently, I have some idea of who the culprits might be. Yeah, we believe it's the Knights of Plot. <laughs> Roll the <sachets. laughs> Darn it. <laughs> oh, is, oh, good. That's good. Good crazy. <laughs> okay. okay. I was about to say. I have a chance. Making me now. worry there. I have a chance. <laughs> So you really think it was the knights? They've never lied to me before. I mean, who else would be around that area? The... I heard there was a group of odd adventurers over I mean, there. We were in the area, but we kind of rested at a tree and then <laughs> left it from there. Roll deception again. <laughs> gonna get me hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Thank goodness for the floppy rolls. <laughs> We're all just a bunch of liars. Um, so you were over by the tree with that large tree with a bunch of knots, and what? You thought it would be a good idea to push them or something? Who said pushing anything about pushing buttons? <laughs> Or not. Well, you said you were over there. Yeah, we hit Most the tree, people just lost, lost sight of the tracks we were following and didn't know what to do from there. We figured some magic was involved. Okay. So you guys are not, so you're not at fault then, huh? No, actually, huh? I actually want your permission to go and investigate that hole. <sighs> And how do you intend to do that, sir? Well, you see, I have some pittance and rope, and I wanted to try and get myself down in that hole to look around. But I didn't want to pit in your, your property without your permission. Well, whatever you find is 50% mine. Sounds like a good deal to me. All right. And you have my permission. Just try not to use the pistons on the field itself, please. Nope, I will use them on the sides of the barn. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, and good luck! I hope you the best in your endeavor. I hope the best, and hope you are able to come out ahead in this endeavor as well. Thank you! <laughs> I, I go around the farm, because I'm still not comfortable walking through a farm. Well, you better not be. Not with those shoes on. Okay, okay. Alright. All right, so who's next? Gavin, Bindle? Gra Grass and Bindle? I mean, Grass and oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna get... <laughs> yeah, well, Bindle and Grass were leaving. Bindle grabs 
grasped by the arm and he looks around. Is is there someone with an earshot? Or do I have to make a check for that? Uh, you can look around and you see no one with an earshot. Earshot. So he discusses with Gress. He goes, I think the apprentice is the one that's actually leaking information to the king. And if he needs to communicate with the king, he'd probably have to write to him. So I suggest we go to the to the to the mailbox. I don't know if it's called the mailbox, you know, the post office or something. And maybe we could find evidence of his of his collusion, of his you know him trying to turn in the blacksmith for you know, maybe it could be personal reasons or it could just be for the money. What do you think? Leo? Did we lose him? Huh? Did we lose him? Uh, I can hear him. Yeah. Okay. So what do you, what do you reason... think? Right. Hold on, I gotta check my stream feed again. For some reason it's fuzzing up now. <laughs> Shall we go back to Gavin while you guys, while Grass figures out what's going on? Or do you just want to go straight to the post office? Well, I'm not sure if Grass wants to go. I guess I could go on my own and if he's coming along. He'll come along. I mean, that's up to you. Because I think I'm going to go check it out anyway. <laughs> I can find it. You know which way it is, right? <laughs> it, it's west. Go west. Is that it? Yep, that's it. All right. You notice that the box is has the little sign to silver per postage. Okay, I'm back. And that it's fully locked. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, for some reason OBS decided to just like instantly tell me, "Yeah, you're not going to stream anymore." So I had to oh, no. repaste my stream key. Oh god, I hate when that happens. Hold on. Da 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 da. We're uh, holding on for a dress. Yeah, do you want to come with me? I'm in the post post office. I'm gonna assume grass is coming with you. Okay, the post office is empty of people, right? Yes, it is. For now, anyways. Don't mean it won't be. Okay. It will continue to be empty. Doesn't mean it will continue to be. Gress, could you keep a lookout? Make sure no one's coming. Why can't I ever find that? This is a federal crime. This is a federal crime. They all, they all I'm, using my, bad. <laughs> I'm using my thieves tools to get into it. And it's a federal crime. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Is Leo still here, Leo? Leo! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Problem with Discord? Probably. No? It's fully on. It's just pushed to talk, I know that. Alright. Mm -hmm. Leo's outside, keeping a look so at. You want me to have him go outside? Well, just to. So you can warn me in case someone's coming. Alright. Okay. 
And Vidlo starts back? to inspect the lock, and he's gonna try to open it. He's just getting like open. super drunk because I can't get it to stay on one side. <laughs> da, 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 da. And I love how Gress is not warning you. Warning uh, me about. Well, that's because of the fact that I've just now noticed. <laughs> Yeah, no, this guy is seriously drunk. I cannot get him to stay on one side or the other. Alright, he cut. He, he walks in in the middle of you doing your thieving. Oh god. Roll stealth. Or sleight of hand. Roll sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. Good idea. How about I uh, butt in between him? It may be too late. Yeah, yeah. He's in the room, Mark. Although, if you try to distract them, that might give me a bonus to sleight of hand. Mm -hmm. If you even need it. <clears throat> the person is always so lucky. Don't jinx me again, Moon. <laughs> <laughs> jinx you again? <laughs> really? <laughs> Luck is on your side, apparently. <laughs> He definitely does not see you open the mailbox. <laughs> but yeah, but Gress now has to keep him occupied so you can look in. Sir, are you okay? Let me gonna bring you over here. And I uh, walk him over towards the bar. So Bindo starts to peek at the a letter, see if there's anything from the king or to no, the I apprentice. Like. Would that be <sighs> investigation? Yep, you investigate the box. Uh, I am not going over there, sir. I have a letter to write. What for? What for? That is my personal business, not yours. Well, you, sir, you do look like you're not of a good health right now. You look like you're a bit drunk. I am not! How dare you! Wow, no comeback, really? Well, Do a sleight of hand, Bindle. I was reading a message that I just got from Ice. Sleight of hand? <laughs> yeah. Do a sleight of hand again. Oh, you still win. <laughs> All right. Um, the let you find a letter noted to the king, but it has no return address or otherwise on it. Just to the king. To the king. In front of the okay, back. on the letter. Back. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> yes, you are back. Yay! Yes, I am. He's a back. He's a back. For some reason, I lost connection to my internet. I mean, yeah. Okay, but it's, it's working All so right. far. So Bindle takes this one letter, pockets it, puts the other letters back in the box, and attempts to close it again. Alright, sleight of hand, and um, Grass, are you still trying to... Yes, I'm still trying to distract him. What are you saying? After what oh. I said to you. Well, obviously, sir, you have um, had quite, uh, I'm guessing, a quite a few number of drinks tonight. It isn't even night. It's oh, the boy. afternoon. Morning, afternoon. You look like you've had quite a few number of drinks. I have not. I just can't stand straight because I've been working all day. that really mean that you need to write your letter now, or you can always wait till another time. I do not have time to wait. Alright, I must go. And finish writing the letter. Okay. 
What did you can I roll? Can I go to stealth? Uh, for what? I'm gonna spy on this uh, princess. Well, you'd have to leave and then go into stealth, <laughs> considering his location. I'm gonna leave behind grass. <laughs> All right. What can I roll? So you you want to stealth behind grass? Hmm? Or or if I'm outside, well, I'm then, I don't know if there's a door. There is no door. There's a reason that this has only three sides. There is no door. Oh, okay. And the only reason you can see it in it is because I decided to leave off the top. Okay. Think so of it as literally just a small, just a booth type idea. Okay. So Binda walks off and he goes, okay, Chris, I'll see you later. Trying to make a, basically a scene of him leaving as he goes around mm -hmm. the corner. And now I stealth? Yeah, now you can stealth. Roll for stealth. Rolling stealth. Here's stealth. stealth. Now each square you'll need to um, roll a stealth check. So if I move this one square, I have to roll again? Yep. Because I technically he could see you, but since you're stealth, he might not be able to. I really only want to see close enough to see what he's writing and maybe not even read it, but maybe tell what kind of like his handwriting. <laughs> Good luck getting that close. <laughs> okay. Maybe he won't. I doubt it. Well, maybe I could, at least I could tell if he's right handed or left handed or something. <laughs> yes, but each square you'll have to roll stealth. Okay. Maybe he has a distinctive signature. A secret signature. Ah! He does not see you! <laughs> Maybe one more square! Did you roll two? I rolled two dice on mine. No, I only see one. Okay. I'm, I'm glad it didn't go with the other one. <laughs> it rolled a one and an 18, but it took the 18. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I see it as well. So right where I'm at, I'm stealth, but it, this isn't close enough to see what he's writing? No. You're definitely not close enough to see what he's writing. Just use your ruler and find that one out. How good's your eyesight? So you're about 20 feet away from him. 20 feet. I have 20 20 vision. What? <laughs> what? Okay. I'm gonna try to move. If yep, I'm... you can move there. That's one square. That is one square, right? I don't have to like follow like uh, a chess rule. What? No. I ain't even gonna try that one right now. But you still have to roll stealth. Okay. And hope he doesn't see you. I should have him roll, roll a, <laughs> an insight, insight perception check on you, but I'm just going by a set number, and holy crap. <laughs> he doesn't even see you! You're like, higher, you're shorter than the table, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Continue. You gotta be at the table to see what he's at writing. The at the very least. Yep. There you go. But you gotta roll stealth. Roll stealth. Watch him get a nat 20 this time. You <laughs> shoot <laughs> But as well, Ben. He, 
he still doesn't see you. Doesn't see oh, you. He, he's concentrating on writing his letter. Okay. You can't really see what he's writing. You can't really read it, but you can... You can see the fact that it is to the king. And that is it. So far. If that's no. all he wrote. <laughs> the letter that I have pocketed, could I take that out and read it right now while in stealth? Mm-mm. Okay. So Which if I wanted to stay here, would it be like would I need to like re-roll stealth like every like minute or five minute or something? Uh You'd have to re-roll the stealth if he beats your stealth. Is how I'm gonna do that one. Okay. He just he just got he just got to the table, so I'm gonna wait here for a little bit just to see his, his writing patterns. Uh, I can't believe you have to write this. <laughs> I don't know. Could I, could I run like a perception check to see if I recognize? The writing as the same writing that I saw with the letter that I have. Yep, you can. Please go for it. I, I was trying to see if I could do that to myself, Moon. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you stealthed yourself? <laughs> okay. No, I was just gonna see what my role was being. <laughs> kind of do this off script here just between you and me Gavin while I'm working with them okay um your perception is crap you see nothing <laughs> you don't notice his handwriting being the same as the nice not saying that it isn't but it's not saying that it is either but I can't tell okay yeah you can't tell If I want to keep looking, maybe another stealth check? Yep, please. Uh, unless you don't want to, Gavin. Yeah, it's your choice. Me? Yeah, I sent you a message. Uh, it only showed me one. I only sent you the one message. Okay, yeah, and did you get mine? No. no, we sent the Moonstone player. Yeah, make sure you don't send it to that one. <laughs> I won't get it. <laughs> Jeez, Bendel. He sees. He doesn't see you. You are welcome to try to do another perception check. Another perception check. Yeah. <laughs> Again, you see nothing out of the ordinary. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and back out. Do I stealth for every square of moon away too? Uh, if you want to still be stealth, yes. <laughs> if you just want to scare the living daylights out of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or if you want to scare the living daylights out of them, don't be stealth when you do it. <laughs> It. it says a roll. It says uh, it rolled a one d twenty and added six. 
you must have a plus six to your thing. Yeah, it's just I see two dice, so one of them. Yeah, like it, it, it rolled a d20, but it also rolled a d6 on. Yeah, that's what I see. I mean, I see it on the on the on the screen, right? Two dice being rolled. Yeah, but only one shows up in chat. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, go ahead. Okay. Now I think I'm I just wanna move. I don't really care if I'm stealth, but I think I'm gonna go to the inn. Alright. Have fun at the end. Gav uh Grass, are you there? No, That's he's actually weird. not in Discord anymore. He said something about losing internet. Oh no. Uh yeah, I heard that, that but you're not in roll 20. Yeah, he's not even in roll 20. You look outside and um, see grass passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> basically. I'll go with that. <laughs> grass is passed out in the middle of the road. He's passed out in the middle of the road? What? <laughs> what do you do? Uh, am I strong enough to carry him? You'll have to do a strength check. You may want to carry him back to the back to a room. Back to the inn, yeah. Strength, strength. Okay. Not very strong. Can I drag him? <laughs> yeah. Well, ha if you drag him one square. He'll have to take a 1d4 damage. And that's going to be a lot of squares. But you can do a strength attack each square. Each square. Okay. Yep. Okay, so get back on top of him. Alright, now tell me where you want... Now move so I can know where you want to move. We're going towards the end. Okay, do a strength check while I do a 1d4 mm -hmm. damage. We got two damage. Characters, where is. Alright, what do we got for a roll? You're still dragging him. <laughs> Move so I know where you're going. Okay. Oh man. Right there. That'd be a strength save or strength check. It, it's both. They're technically the same. Yeah, In my case. The, the strength attribute. To roll. Yeah. My my strength check is plus three, but my save is plus five. Wow. Me? What? Keep rolling strength again? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you roll strength itself, not the save throw. Yeah. 